Hello and welcome to the Director's Commentary. I'm Butch, the creator of this area. In order to start or stop the voice, press space again. I'll be guiding you through all the features you can create using this software, as well as a demonstration of what's been made already. As you may have noticed, the camera has stopped moving and a subtle zoom out has been applied. We worked on simple effects such as shaking the camera or holding it, but we found that graphically what the software excels at is a manipulation of parallax ratios. In later scenes you can see how the software takes advantage of it and you can create similar effects. How the 2.5D effect is achieved To explain how it is achieved, in the engine, it takes the current X and Y position of the camera, then calculates a percentage of that view and updates it according to what the camera position is. So for instance, in the background of the scene, the cliffs and the buildings update themselves based on the camera X and Y position. So that's a bit complicated. To explain another way, if the player walks 50 pixels to the left, Statics in the background with a ratio of 0.5 will travel only 25 pixels. And statics that are in the front with the ratio of 1.5 will travel 75 pixels in the front of the player. By laying these together and the different traveling speeds of the player moving while the objects in the background moving slower and the objects in the foreground moving faster, it creates the illusion of three dimensions when really it's just being calculated as two dimensions. One of the problems we had with teaching players how the open system worked is that players would refuse to go to the end of the screen, i.e. out of boundaries Players felt like there was no more content on that side and as a result stayed within the cell. We used funneling as a way of leading players to the outwards of the cells. So talking about the grass, grass is easy to place down using the grass placer brush. To explain the grass movement, the grass weighs by stimulating wind effects. In order to do this, a timer variable is inside the game which constantly goes up. This timer is then assigned to a sine wave. This simulates a gust of wind as it goes back and forth. Then in order to simulate the pulsing of the wind knocking the branches back and forth, another sine wave is multiplied, but this time with an even faster timer inside it. The effect of this is two sine waves pushing each other, like the waves, and then when the wave hits, the wave shakes faster and faster. The effect of this is two different speeds creating the illusion of gusts and winds coming and going and knocking the grass. So, you can see a jump puzzle. So, the camera rotating. In this section you can see a subtle zoom out has been applied, as well as the statics parallax is changing on its x-axis. So to explain what an x-axis is, it's just left and right, basically. 
a y-axis would be up and down. One of the advantages of designing our 2.5D software rendering is that we have full control over the manipulation of the 3D calculations, meaning that we can rotate the entire world just based on its axis, creating this unique effect that is unique to this engine itself. If you were to press F1 and to select the camera, you can see the range of different effects and try out, well, basically placing the cameras down and seeing what you can create.